This is your boy Top Dot Four Gamecast, and tonight we are talking about the young man six nine and what didn't happen to him. Now he didn't got himself in a whole heap of trouble, so now he out here running his mouth and telling. My whole thing on that is, if you knew what you was doing when you did it in the first place. It's unfortunate for you being a young man, and now you got to sit down in jail for a minute because. You had people around you that wasn't up to no good and didn't want to really do nothing for themselves. So they just decided to use you and the labor that you was going through to help them build their little empire. So now you got yourself in a situation all over these couple of grown shysty men. You know what I'm saying? You already had a little bit of trouble before you got here. So you was already in the system. You was already getting twisted up with the law and everything. Um, now, with all the years that they about to pin on you and everything that they about to do to you and all of that, you know what I'm saying? He I decided he wanted to go ahead and, and let it be known who was doing what and how they was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they did get some, some time took off his sentence. Plus, it is also being reported that his name has been took off the indictment. When, when they do that, that means they either plan on letting you go or they plan on significantly reducing, significantly reducing your time. You know, no, just know that I've been in the, in the court system long enough that I know a few things about the law and I got family members that are lawyers. So I know things about the law and y'all get the same knowledge because you don't be out here like your boy 6'9 and left stinking without knowing, you know what I'm saying, what to do or how to do it. You know what I mean? But to get back to that subject he got himself in the world of shit now so he has to sit down 47 years minimum that's a minimum just imagine what the maximum is so you have to face football numbers because you wanted to go out here and play Frank Lucas you know now you get a whole criminal organization pent on you because the people that were behind you were shysty enough and they didn't have enough manpower and money to move it. You know, I know most people that are with them is going to come on and say you different, but if that was a simple case, all them facts when it came out about how your boy shot, it was just draining that young man, all his money, which I think was unfortunate too, because now he don't have too much to defend himself, too much to send his family, too much to do nothing Nothing weird. Now he has to sit up here and scrounge and scrape, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully he'll be able to get something where he can get a good defense and all that. And then on top of that, it's also been reported, and this is allegedly, that Shadi has been trying to sabotage him by getting his lawyer basically took off the case or trying to get him took off the case because he's involved with other Treyway members. Now, that in a nutshell is crazy that you got so much going on you can't even have a lawyer around because he dealing with some other stuff that your, your other people did because y'all been wilding out so much for the last year and a half, almost two, you know, which is crazy. All you people that get fortunate and get this money and get this fame, y'all let it go to y'all head. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all let it go to y'all head. Y'all turn around and do the dumbest stuff and just expect to be let go because you're a celebrity. I don't know what them Hollywood elites is telling y'all, but you see the result of it. It ain't it ain't true what they what they spitting over there. Cause you see Boy Six Nine, um, you see other artists like G Dep, Black Rob. You know what I'm saying? You see Shine when he, when he tried to do the the realness with Puffy and and the club thing, and he ended up getting like 10, 15 years in prison, and Puffy was what out doing a jig, you know what I'm saying, popping a jig with Mason him, you know what I mean? And he was equally as guilty as well. But that's a different story for a different day. But back to 6 9 and how he about to ride that pine for a minute. You know what I'm saying? That's no homo, pause, and that ain't even no, no joke toward him. But 
He finna sit on that, that concrete bench for a minute because the football numbers that they're throwing at him is insane. And he is going to – he's going to sit down for a minute, man. It's crazy. I mean, incredibly crazy that he didn't see this coming. He didn't even see this coming. He he thought he was going to be able to act his way up out of this. He thought he was going to be able to dance it and jig his way up out of this and talk crazy and social media his way up out of this. But somebody forgot to tell him that he took a real pill when he put his life into the hands of the, or whoever owns his um, record label and the spotlight. So you got to pay them what you owe them. You've been running around here doing all of this stupid stuff, and now you got to pay up. You know what I mean? It's the law is the law. Johnny Law don't play. He want his money, and his money is time. So he going to get his his money, basically his time. You see, he been locked up for a minute. You know what I'm saying? His trial wasn't it's like next year, and now it's something different with that. You know, the paperwork is different with that because his name got took off in diamonds, you know, and all that stuff. Now, to that, you know what I'm saying? When that happens, that means somebody is cooperating, and they're cooperating fully. Now, what the FBI wanted it in the first place was for him to do that. They wanted him to cooperate because they wanted to make their job easier for two it also helps them get to what they got to get to faster so they can move that out the way and get to the next person. But they're also going to basically plant him back in the hood. You know, if he get up out of there and he ain't in witness protection, they're most definitely going to put him somewhere close enough to the hood and they're going to try to get him back into the hood so he can be um, a go-to guy. Now, what? different about that is that that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. Why? Because Mr. 6ix9ine has already exposed himself. And he's already basically known to be a snitch and a rat. So nobody is going to believe him and nobody is going to trust him. So it's basically O-V-E-R for that man right there. Y'all. Word of the wise, if y'all want to be gangster, do your research on the gangster. If y'all want to be thug, do your research on being a thug. If y'all niggas want to be pimps, do your research on being a pimp. If you're not built for it, you're not built for it. So, don't do it. Until next time, peace.